So let me start, start, <laughs> start with the specific kind of benefits and then I'll drill down into why maybe. So like we're starting to do studies where we're looking at things like cardiovascular disease and risk markers of people's heart conditions, you know, uh, um, uh, blood pressure, uh, rates of, um, they're called cardiovascular risk markers. Mm -hmm. And, and what we're seeing is when people, uh, participate in gardening and with big, large samples, like 5,000 people, uh, when people participate in gardening, they're going to have better outcomes longitudinally. Um, with uh, gar doing gardening activities, but not just doing gardening activities in small amounts. You probably need to do it up to 150 minutes per week. So kind of like your prescription for physical activity. So you you probably know the WHO um, guidelines for physical activities around 150 minutes of moderate activity. Mm -hmm. So um, I would, most gardening activities are roughly around moder moderate activity. You have to have your low intensity kind of activities like watering of plants, which are important um, to a high intensity where you're digging holes. Yeah, but um, what this is showing is if you get up to 150 minutes of gardening per week, you're going to have a reduced your likelihood of cardiovascular risk markers later on. Same with the environmental um, kind of fact, uh, psychological factors like we've measured well-being and um, happiness scales and what we're seeing is people are happy when they participate in 150 minutes and it's kind of a beautiful curve that shows that this is happening but there are certain populations that get these benefits more than others so um older adults seem to get these benefits more than young adults and there's good reason for that because we probably need to do a little bit more physical activity than someone who's 65 um but there's still likely benefits of anyone doing gardening Okay, so you, you get in barefoot and, and getting out into the garden will have psychological and physical benefits. The, the data is telling us that and the even cognitive ability, as I talked about, in terms of reducing fatigue and, and stress levels. Um, and even we've done studies during COVID-19 of there was definite reduction of the stress people were getting when they were participating in gardening during the early stage of the lockdown. 